Good Sunday afternoon, guys. This is going to be pretty short, sweet, and to the point. This is Mayer's February Bark Box. We've already done his Super Chewer Box. Um, I have, as you can see, I have already unboxed this, and I, I thought that maybe it would make it a little bit easier since I do this with one hand to do it this way because that way I can kind of show you and I kind of like have piddled and played with some of the stuff. Um, we start with the, the theme is Food Fight. Let me double check. Yeah, Food Fight is the theme of this box, which I think is like totally different than what the Bark Box, the Super Chewer was. Um, this is a smorgasbord, which is, it's just like a little order of chow mein, which I think is hysterical and very clever. Um, even right down to, you know, the details. And as you can hear, it makes crunchy noises. Um, I'm knocking over everything that I had set up to make this look better than it would normally. It has... I have to do it over here because I can't do it. It has a squeaker in it. Um, so this will be something that he will enjoy to a point. I don't know how durable it will be. It does say 0 to 50 pounds. And if you've been keeping up with Mayer, he's closer to the 50 pounds than he is the 0. So um, we may have to go in and change how we do um, um, you know, we may have to increase because everything is 0 to 50 pounds and he is at 41 so yeah um, the second toy is a tug toy and this is it and this I'm just going to tell you as far as using it as a tug uh, for mayor, I give it about 15 minutes to box, and that's pushing it. But mayor also is a German Shepherd, so you know his his clamp down, his push. I went, I've gone ahead and taken most of the stuff off um, because I found I found that if I don't, I generally forget, and I tend to not give them to him. But um, let me see if I can remember which one that one was. Okay, so yeah. This is, it was a main squeeze cheese. Um, so we will see how this goes. There's some of the toys. Um, he likes the crinkly sound. He navigates towards crinkly. Um, navigates towards squeaky. Um, not so much just, you know, if it's just a toy that just doesn't really make any noise or anything like that, or he likes, um, treat, he likes toys that treats are in. He likes that search and find, which is, you know, goes back to his breed. He's a working breed. So, um, we, we are on the cusp at this point in time. Um, I think we have three or four more boxes to fulfill our obligation with BarkBox. Um, BarkBox, if you happen to watch this, yes, we would take, we would talk about a sponsorship. Um, yes, because I think it's worth it, um, overall. Um, the other, the last toy I think is just too cute. It's spaghetti and meatballs. Meatball, and it's various different textures, and it is a tug. And you know, again, with it being with it being a German Shepherd puppy, we're not so sure how many tug is going to last. <laughs> or the meatball, um, it seems to, you know it's got a squeak, and I have to be careful he's napping. Um, this is crinkly. Um, and some of the things, we just may need to bump him up to a bigger box. Excuse me, I feel like I have to sneeze, but it won't come, up, come out. Um, 
I wished I had an affiliate link um, because if you do have a dog, I do recommend this um, it, for at least a trial basis. Overall, um, in a lot of ways, it can save you money versus going to the store and buying, you know, toys and stuff like that. Um, for us, we kind of break even. Um, this is a dental gel for dogs. Um, you basically put it on uh, well, for this one, it goes on, on this dental chew, um, which is kind of, I don't know, he's got some chews that we, that he, we put a dental gel on, so that's kind of why I hesitated in saying that, because I like that ideal a little better. They're washable, reusable little balls for a bone that's just textured that he can chew on, and it also helps his teeth or he's getting them. Um, now, this one came with two things of treats. These are the Wakey Wakey Soft Bake Eggs and a... Um, maple bacon flavor. These are the porky jerky trainers pork recipe. These are like a jerky treat. Um, these work really well for some of his toys that he's already gotten in, the, in other boxes to hide treats. As far as using this as a trainer, for us it's a no. Um, it's not something that the, the value for him they're not his favorite treats, and that's not being ugly, that's being honest. Um, so because they're not his favorite treats, we use them, um, like, you know, at nighttime or when it's time for him to go in his kennel, stuff like that. Not quite as high value as when we're training. Um, but we also, I use things like, you know, I'll cook liver and use pieces of the liver or chicken breast and use pieces of the chicken. Um, so for certain things we use, you know, the, we use higher value treats, um, just depending upon what we're going to do with them in that day, because he is a working dog. Um, now I, these, he, the, in the one toy that he's got that has Velcro parts that he has to un-Velcro to get to the treats, these work perfectly. Any other treat um, is not quite enough incentive for him to go after it. But anyway, this is his February Bark Box. Um, overall, I think he's going to like it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give him one of the toys. He's kind of semi-napping, but he keeps looking at me because I'm talking. Um... So, thank you so much for watching this. If you are interested in Bark Box or Bully Box, I recommend giving them a shot. Now, when we get to where it's time for us to decide if we're going to continue or not, I will do a whole list of pros and cons relating to us. Um, we still buy treats at the store. We still buy toys at the store because he does have his favorites so that's going to go into where we do our pros and cons um getting this in the mail um is nice it's neat to see all the little treats and get different ideals and different toys for him um they actually most of them have stood up pretty well for him being a german shepherd um, most of them, um, I've been able to wash, um, given that he's been, had a puppy virus, um, that, that does come into, you know, and that, and, you know, I'm just going to tell you with children and dogs, um, this is spot clean only, but I would put it through the washer on a general cycle. I just would. Um, but 
there are times when you need to wash their toys. You need to sanitize them. Even if it's just with a Clorox wipe or whatever, you need to clean them or run them through the dishwasher, run them through whatever. His Kongs get ran, ran through the dishwasher routinely. Um, we currently are missing a Kong, and for the life of me, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, that's completely off topic. I just wanted to, this came today, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I think it's pretty cute. Um, food fight is the theme of the box. I see some of the other toys that are part of this, and I kind of think that some of them would have matched Mayor's um, personality better than what we got, but it's okay. You know, he, if you remember back around New Year's, I got him the Maker's Park bottles. Um, he loved those. He still has one. They have them at the pet store, so, you know, it is what it is. You can add on to this, just like with your with other subscription boxes. I just don't, because it's a slippery slope with me, and I end up spending a whole lot of money, um, and I'm trying to keep this comparable to, um, you know, if we bought treats and stuff like that at the store, trying to keep it as comparable as possible, um, but anyway, y'all have a great day. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. We love you oh so much, and we'll see you in the next video.